Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on episodes five and six of season two of my amphibia reaction series. These episodes are called Truck Stop Polly and A Caravan Named Desire. And let's get watching. Oh, oh hey, is that Mrs. Kroger? <laughs> So we gotta go around to Newtopia? Fergus Frog finds a... Pop, pop! Same, pop, honestly. Pop. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation? This is what I get for letting you kids drive. Not inside! Remini. All our mushroom bars are mush. It's oh, all the rockers. It's Polly. She <laughs> made a huge mess. Polly, no, it's wet in here. Garrett! Oh! We'll pull in and clean this mess up. Also, I'm gonna need about 30 cups of coffee. <laughs> same, 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 same. Polly, go get some paper towels. Okay, Hop Pop. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Bessie's so cute. Man, what's with Polly today? Huh? Is it just me or is she being extra annoying? I know. Zap tag? I'm sure she's got her reasons. His you're eyes. right, you're right. <laughs> I'm just so hopping tired. <laughs> Here, hop up. Have some coffee. Hmm. Well, if they don't want me on the trip, maybe I won't go Holly. on the trip anymore. <laughs> When they see that's not me, oh my gosh, Polly looks so funny them. without her phone. And then they're gonna come crawling back. She's just a little gumball. I don't know no one, and no one knows me. How's it hanging, Polly? Sup, Sucky Joe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Honestly, this is Polly's aesthetic. Sounds to me like you were homesick and trying to compensate by recreating our home-like environment through familiar activities. Without taking into consideration the inability of your family to provide comfort at this juncture. Well, when you spend a lot of time on the road alone, there's not much to do but better yourself. I just got my PhD. The egg of a rock. A giant flesh-eating ravenous bird was about to sell the bugger to the circus down the way. Someone must have pinched it. Too bad for them, though, because that oh, bird well, could have devoured the first frog twist. it sees once it hatches. Which should be in about five minutes. Get your new friends to take you! Psst, Polly, I know Sprig said not to wake you, but I thought you might like a little story time. Polly? Oh. What the? Sprig, hop up! Oh! Well, that's mildly concerning. Anything? Not yet. I feel like that is the catchphrase of Amphibia. Ah! How did that thing fit in the... Ah! No! Oh no you don't! Hands up our snail! Not Bessie! Oh, I would fight tooth and nail for Bessie. For his help, Polly Petunia Planter. Uh oh, full name. Yeah, I was gonna say, have we ever heard that before? Polly Petunia. Very cute. I'd never leave you behind. Not ever. We shouldn't have been so harsh. You're such a tough little tadpole. We forget you need a little loving occasionally. Thanks, guys. Oh. Uh -huh. Sorry to interrupt, but do you guys need a tow to the next stop? Now, oh, Bessie's loving rain this. poured from the sky as Fergus Frog faced his wife's killer in the deserted alleyway. Taking me out won't bring her <laughs> back, growled the assassin. No wonder Polly loves this story. Polly Petunia Planter. I think this is the most 
focused episode that we've had on Polly. The only one that comes close that I can think of was the makeover episode. I think it was called Girls Day or Girls Day, Girl Time. Doesn't matter. Girl something. Back in season one when Anne and Polly spent the day together. I really enjoyed getting a lot of Polly's internal dialogue in this episode because it's so easy to see her as this super tough cookie because she does act that way so much of the time. But in this episode, we really got to see her vulnerable side and the side of her that is still young and needs that attention and that love and we can't forget that Polly is just baby. The ending of this episode was so cute too. I just love when Amphibia gets sentimental and this season is leaning hard into that. I think because we've established the relationships between the characters and our relationship to the planters as an audience, that sentimentality is just hitting so good. I did want to go back because there was a moment at the very beginning of this episode where Polly has the book open with Hop Hop. That's what I was wondering. It does have something to do with their parents. Two sprig love mom. Speaking of sentimental things. Also, oh my gosh, the, <laughs> the place that I have the episode stopped is so perfect. I'll try to find this exact moment to show you guys as well. I feel like this is the first nod to Sprig and Polly's parents that we've even had in the show. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I went back to look at that. And now let's get watching a caravan named Desire. Hey, Ryan, you're going to want to hydrate. Oh, they got That's it. Okay, dude. Oh, fixed Still up already. Swamp. How dry could it be? Oh, <laughs> me in Texas in the summer. Home to giant frog eating sandworms, bandits, vagabonds. Your hop pop had dreams. Next life, I suppose. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, you, head towards that dune. Thanks for your help out there. <laughs> Don't mention it. Renee Rogers, the name and managing this <laughs> acting troupe is my game. An acting troupe? Here? Wow. What are the chances? Say, why don't you folks join our caravan? Her pants and her haircut, the beret, the scarf. I'm dead. I am Francois, heir to house Don Cool. He's method. Uh, uh, he's what? Well, uh, it means he models <laughs> a character on and off set. <laughs> wow. That guy. He's like fancy. He's the Greg. coolest kid I've ever met. Let's go with him. I'm in. Yeah. Memories. Oh. I'm a tooth. That's the truth. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I've got a complicated jigsaw puzzle with my name on it. Yes. My baby's yes. <laughs> mm, okay, bye. That was so random. You want to audition? Park. Oh, where I am homeless. I am. Stop. Oh. You're hitting me, but you're not knocking me out. Know what I mean? No. You're not right for the part. <laughs> no. Oh. Super. Guess we're all done here. Don't take it personal, Hop Hop. It's okay. I'm Sprug Plantoir, your <laughs> nemesis on guard. I don't believe you. Uh, show business is being rough on the planters. Ignore him, Lydia. He clearly doesn't have enough Ooh, character. That eye patch has the bizarre, bizarre symbol. <laughs> you got the lead part, Hapadaya. Get <gasps> <laughs> the show on the road. We're taking all of our hopes and dreams. Fan of the Hopper. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, this song? Renee? Okay, so the next town's bank has two guards unarmed. We wait till Hapadaya's big death scene, then take them out! Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me? While people are transfixed by our amazing place, Blamo! We take what we deserve. But this is wrong! <laughs> What's wrong is how underappreciated the arts are. Every dream has its price, am I right? Well... That's the spirit! The play's a distraction for a bank robbery! On one hand, that's awful! She's been trying so hard to finish this puzzle! The theater kids don't oh. like me! Ugh, the seriously? Puzzle. It doesn't matter what those theater dorks think! I am a common frog, oh. yet my soul burns with the spirit of... REVOLUTION! Francois! Francois! That sounds familiar. We can become... a family. <sighs> what are you talking about? You know what, Francois? <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> oh. All right, 
boys, that's our cue. We need these frogs the next time we go up against the toads. Everyone, this is a sham. They're robbing you blind. Ooh. The jig is up, boys. <laughs> I love the stereotypical like robber walk they were doing. Ah. Finally. Oh. Oh. That's the thing about dreams, Renee. Sooner or later, you gotta wake up. Ah! Now that's dramatic. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oops, kind of oh. misjudged that art. <laughs> Philistines. And you're sure you didn't know nothing about this robbery beforehand? Scout's honor. <gasps> Dude, I told you not to help them rob a bank. <laughs> and shush. Movies are better. And of course, of course she would. I was wondering if we were ever going to see Hot Pop's acting degree come into play. It was really fun to get a peek into that side of Hot Pop's personality and talent in this episode. And there was a lesson to be learned that I actually learned myself when I was in the theater or in acting, which is that sometimes your dreams do not turn out the way that you thought they would look like in your head. And it's okay to recenter and reevaluate and decide if your your dream is actually still what you want. Or if like Hop Hop said, sometimes it's time to wake up. Of course, I was never involved in a bank robbery that I know of. I also love that Anne was not starstruck by any of this at all. It really fits her character that she was poking fun at theater and saying that movies are better. That's very Anne. I'm actually a little surprised that Polly was as into it as she was. I kind of figured she'd take a similar stance to Anne, but she was really digging her pirate role. It seems like we hit a lot of different stops in this episode. I don't know if those towns are along the way to Newtopia or if we took a little bit of a uh, side quest to fulfill this acting dream of Hot Pops, but I'll be curious curious in the next episode if we've gone a little further on the map to Newtopia. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.